my name is Erin Dudley. I'm the executive director of the Hurleyville Performing Arts Center and the owner of the yoga space, Hurleyville in New York. Super excited to be sharing some yoga warm up for your Fosse class today and to be collaborating with the Forestburg Playhouse. Let's get right to it, shall we? So start on your hands and knees. Um, Fosse involves a lot of deep knee bends and some squeezing of the upper back and a lot of hip work. So that's what we're gonna focus on. Put your hands directly underneath your shoulders so that the creases in your wrist are parallel to the front edge of your space or mat. And your knees directly underneath your sitting bones, not your hip points, but your sitting bones, your butt bones. And we're gonna start with the beloved cat and cow. Lift your tailbone up. And you're gonna feel the pelvis move into an anterior tip, which we'll be doing lots of that, I bet, in the Fosse class. And draw your tailbone down, press through the palms so the middle of the back presses to the ceiling as your head comes down. Again, like that, and breathe in really deeply. Lift your tailbone up, pull the chest forward. Exhale, push the palms down, lift the navel up into the spine. Really push your arms down into the ground, stretch out the upper back. Feel the breadth of the back spreading right, left, and tailbone head up, and tailbone head down. And now let's start to swirl. So take your right ear towards your right shoulder and your right butt. And if you don't know your right from your left, very well, and don't worry about it. It doesn't really matter which way you go. And then you're going to swirl around to the other side and drop your head and tail. Head and tail to one side and towards each other and towards the ceiling. And head and toe the other way, and down, and swish the hips and around, and swish the hips and head, and around. Again, come center, get off your wrists for a moment, and just give them a little shake. And the flick, 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 and the roll, and the roll, and flick, flick, and spread your fingers really, really, really wide. I'm going to be doing a lot of that, I bet, as well. Fosse, spread your fingers wide, roll your shoulders forward and back, forward, up and back, forward, up and back, and down, and the other way, back and up and over, back and up and over, back and up and over, and down. Little twist, deep breath in, and out, and twist the other way, deep breath in, and out. Come back to center, hands and knees, and let's swoosh around the other way. So head and tail starts the opposite direction and circle around. I'm starting to really engage the core as your head and tail drop and you pass through center, lift the belly button up towards the spine. And you notice that I'm kind of swinging the shin bones one way than the other to get some really nice C group action through the side waist and back to center. And this time let's push back towards a child twist. So my butt's gonna come towards my heels. And rather than letting my belly just hang down onto my thighs, I'm actually gonna find a little bit of that cat spine that we just did. So pull your hands towards the knees a little bit. Push them into the palms and spread out the upper back like a cat. And then lift the belly button so that the core is active. And now let your head hang. Just three breaths, deep inhale. And exhale. Breathe in. And out. And in. And come forward again onto all fours. Now move your knees back about an inch or two. I'm gonna shift the hands so they're just to the head side of my shoulders. My belly's lifted and really strong. And I'm gonna actually squeeze my bum a little bit so my sitting bones are coming towards each other. I'm going to continue to squeeze them that way so it's right around my sitting bones. And I'm going to shift forward, so 
so that my pubic bone starts to move towards the ground. Now my thighs are gonna come towards the ground. Notice my arms are still straight. Right as my pelvis starts to reach the ground, I'm gonna bend the elbows and pull my chest forward. I'm gonna push right back into a cat from here. So right now I'm in a cobra pose. I'm gonna push into my palms, push down into my knees, flex the spine, drop my head, tuck my toes under, tuck the toes under. Now I'm gonna lift my butt and come into the first downward dog of the practice. Now I still have my socks on. I'm on a sticky mat, it's keeping my feet warm. But next round, we're gonna have to take off the socks so that you don't slide once we hold down our dog a little bit longer. Let's do it again, lower the knees down, point the toes, you're back in that flexed spine, child's pose. Pull forward, a little squeeze in the bottom of the belly, pelvis comes towards the ground, and we snake out to cobra, breathing in in cobra, and breathing out. Push up and to come into a cat. And let's take the time to pick our socks up. So we'll take child's pose, cobra, cat, downward facing dog. Child's pose, cobra, cat, downward facing dog. Let's do it. Come forward to your cobra. Breathe in. Cat. Downward facing dog. Breathe and downward dog. Let's take three total breaths. We have two more here. Knees down, child's pose, cobra, cat, downward facing dog, three breaths. Lower the knees, breathe in, and back child's pose, breathe out. We're gonna add a little bit on to the upper back for those fossy scapula squeezes. Come forward through cobra, and there you are. Now lift your hands up here, once you're in cobra, lift your hands off the floor just a couple inches, and when you, or not a couple inches, it's really more like an inch. And when you do that, notice that your shoulder hits dropping towards the ground. And if so, those shoulder rolls we did earlier, do one here, and then try to touch the upper portion of the scapula towards one another, the bony plates at the top of your spine. And then try to bring the middle of the scapula together and then move down to the lower. So it's essentially a shoulder roll without the big dip in the upper arm bone. And do it twice again. So a little squeeze in the upper, upper back, middle, upper back, lower, upper back. And one more time. And you're working really hard in the upper back, middle back, and the lower tips of the scapula. And reach your arms straight out to the side. And we're gonna do some hamstring curls. So just bend your knees one, and back out. Bend your knees two, and back out. And I'm lifting my legs off the ground just a little bit. Bend your knees three and back down. Good, fold your arms underneath one cheek and lower your head down. <sighs> Turn your head the other way. Come back to center, walk your hands up 
a little bit so your elbows are underneath your shoulders and tuck your toes under now. And then I lift my belly button really strongly, activate my core, my abdominals. The toes are tucked, my ankles are dorsal flexed. And then I put my knees on the ground and we do those hamstring curls again. Draw the heels in and take the legs out. Lift the knees off the ground. The knees are down. Heels come in and toes down, knees come up. Knees are down, heels in. And now try to lift your thighs off the ground just a little bit. You see mine aren't really coming up. They're energetically up. I feel them up a little. You might not be able to see that. Oof, and lower the toes back down. Put your hands back in cobra position. Point your toes. Push up to a cat. And come back to downward facing dog. Lower your knees to the ground, walk your hands back. So for dancers, I always work with a little psoas lengthening. Um, important also to strengthen them, but you'll be doing that while you're dancing. We're just gonna warm them up first gently. So the right knee is directly underneath the right sitting bone. The left knee is directly over the left ankle. I'm gonna hold my waist and just rock forward into the front foot and back into the back knee, forward into the front foot, and back into the back knee. You're breathing, inhale, and back, exhale. Breathe, inhale, come forward, now reach the arms out, up alongside the ears, and now lift up and over to the left, reach your left fingertips towards the floor. And back up, and reach your right fingertips towards the floor. Reach that top arm down to the ground, so both hands are on the ground. I'm gonna straighten both legs, so I'm gonna low lunge with my fingertips on the ground, and I'm just gonna march my hands around towards my back foot till both legs are straight and all 10 toes are facing forward. Walk your hands back now between your feet, press your palms as best you can, and reach the crown of your head down towards the ground. your knees, plant your palms on your thighs, turn your heels towards each other, and I'm just leaning into my hands, my hands on my thighs. Lift your right heel and press through the arch of the foot, press the knee away. I'm lifting the right heel, I'm up on the ball of the foot, my right hand's pushing the knee away, and I'm going to take the little twist towards the left leg. And lower your right heel down. Other side, lift the left heel. And twist the, towards the right foot. So the heel is lifted, pressing through the arch of the foot and twisting. And coming back to center, straighten both legs, turn the heels away. And put your hands down. I'm going to walk around towards the back foot for my psoas stretch on the other side, hip flexors. Walk my hand up onto the thigh, holding my waist. We'll rock forward. Inhale. And back. I've got the back toes tucked for stability. I'm squeezing my glutes a little bit to stabilize the pelvis. 
And I'm just rocking gently forward and back, trying to coordinate the breath. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhaling forward, reach the arms up. And I'm gonna lift up and over towards the front leg. I'm reaching for the floor. My fingertips don't reach the floor. I'm just gonna let the arm hang. Work on stabilizing in one part of the body and relaxing in another part of the body. And I just raise the floor at the fingertips, come back up and the other side. This time we can kind of fall over into it. Really reach, reach, reach. And the open side. Reach a little bit further, getting the long muscles of the traps, a nice stretch. And then walk my hands down. And here I am again, all ten toes facing forward. Bend the knees, hands on thighs, turn the heels towards each other. I'm just going to warm your feet up a little, lift the right heel and twist. And back to center, we're not going to hold this time. Lift the left heel and twist. And come back to center. And rock side to side, lift your tailbone up and drop your hands down, all 10 toes towards the front again. Walk your hands around towards your left foot and step back, downward facing dog. Now walk your feet and your hands towards each other so you're standing in the middle of your mat. Slowly, slowly roll up, dropping the head. The head's going to be the last thing to come up. Slowly coming all the way up. And facing forward. Last thing here. Draw your right ankle over your left thigh so it's a four shape. Bend your standing leg and open the right hip and just rest your arms on the top leg. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and out. Last one. And lift your right hip as you come up to stand and step down and just circle your hips one way and circle your hips the other way and come back to center hip opener left side so the left ankle crosses over the right thigh making a four backwards forward and coming down three breaths here breathe into the back body deep. strongly to your right foot coming up open your feet mat width or shoulder width circle one way and really let it get nice and loose in the hips and the other way and come back to center and after your class stretch out your quads thigh muscles and take some time resting on your back have a wonderful dance class. Happy to be here to warm you up. I'll be dancing with you. Thank you. Hi everybody. My name is Ben Sears. I'm an actor, choreographer, teaching artist, and Forest Bird alumni. And today we're gonna to be learning some choreography from Chicago the Musical, which is the longest running American musical on Broadway today. So everything we're gonna be focusing on today is about control. It's about keeping a lid 
on the pot. The water is still boiling and bubbling and all active and excited inside, but the lid is on. So to the outside, we're cool, calm, and collected, but that doesn't mean that we're not working hard. So this works perfectly for today's setup. Um, in quarantine, it's not a crazy dance number, so we can keep it cool, keep it calm, keep it collected, and you can use whatever your space that you have to do this. I've got this room that we're renovating here, but if you have a bedroom or a kitchen or a backyard, anywhere that you're not gonna bump into any furniture, knock any over anything or hurt yourself is totally great to use, but this is a perfect combination for these conditions. So the beautiful thing about this format being online and being a video is that you can learn at your own pace. If I'm moving too fast for you, if you feel like you don't have a certain move or sequence mastered, that's totally okay. You can take your own time. Just take that button, slide it on back, and go over that section over and over until you feel ready to move on. Don't move on until you feel good, all right? Learning at your own pace is a brilliant thing. Take full advantage of it. So I'm gonna show you guys some things facing the camera this way so you can see what they look like, but I'm gonna teach the majority of the combination facing this back wall so that when I say my right hand is my right hand, it's perfectly set that way on your screen and you don't have to flip anything, you can just follow along and do it with me, okay? So we're gonna start feet together, arms down by our side. We're gonna hold for two quick counts of eight, and then on the third count of eight, we're gonna pip in, up and over, yeah? So up and over to our right, here. Recover, come up, and now we're gonna take Fosse walks, four of them, I think, down stage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, so these are really slow, these are really slinky, where you can sit into our hip. There's a slight turn in of the foot, and our arms are moving like seaweed back behind us. And we want to think about keeping our elbows pinned into our back. So we're going to squeeze these back muscles here, squeeze um, our shoulder blades together. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. So these arms are slinky, they're slimy, they're really cool, they're really sexy. But um, the interesting part about this step here that appears in a lot of Bob Fosse work is that the elbows are pinned in. So really squeeze, really think about that. Sometimes I'm good about it, sometimes I'm not, um, but it's definitely something to work on, okay? So we just, we pip in up and over. We walked two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our right leg is gonna shoot out to that same tendu point position. And we're gonna breathe up and settle down. From here, our arm, our right arm is just in the front, just hanging, just neutral by itself. Our left arm is by our left leg, also very neutral, yeah? We're gonna roll our head around to the right. All the way around, come back up, arm goes up, down, and all that jazz. Slight rise up. We're gonna push the inside of our thigh, reach around our knee, slide up, and spider fingers down to the knee. Hip, hip, yeah? So, we're here. We just did up, down, and all that jazz. I'm gonna slide up, spider finger down to the kneecap, hip, hip. Yeah, really slow, really slinky. It's about what's not moving just as much as it is about what is moving, okay? So we've got this whole sliding thing happening here, which is great. This left arm is just chilling. It's not doing anything. It's totally deleted out of the way, right? So we did our pippin' up and over. We did our Fosse walks down stage. We breathed up, we breathed down. We rolled our head around to the right. We go in up, smooth my knees, and pull my stockings down. Bum, bum, and all that jazz. From here, start the car. Uh, you know, a whoopee spot. Jump out to second position, elbows come out. Shake your hands, hip roll. From the front, that looks like we're here. We're going to start the car. So our right hand, start the car, 
I know a whoopee spot. Cool, so two just really small circles of the finger. Nothing else is moving. We're here, just the finger, yeah? So start the car. I know a whoopee spot where the gin is cold, but the piano's hot. Yeah, so when piano's hot, we shake our hands, jazz hand situation, and our hips are going right back left, yeah? Right back left. So we're here, start the car. I know a whoopee spot where the gin is cold, but the piano's hot. From here, we're gonna swoop our right arm up, turning this left leg in, hit, and come out. Switch the left shoulder, right shoulder, switch to the right, left shoulder, jazz, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, slide together. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now this starts a little interlude in the music. So this next section, we've just done our hips back and our snaps. We're stepping together, right foot coming back to meet the left. From here, we're gonna again think about squeezing the shoulder blades. We're gonna think about pinning those elbows back. And our right and our left hand pump up at our hips. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah? So there are four slow hip rolls there with the right hip, the right hip, the right hip, the right hip again. Yeah? From here, we're gonna go back to our Foxy Walks for upstage, turn around for downstage. Yeah. So we just did, um, there's a noisy hall, but there's a nightly brawl to all shoulder, back, shoulder, jazz, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From here, we're gonna shoot our feet out to slightly wider than shoulder width and bring our hands up to our head. From here, the elbows are in, not out, but in. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a oh, one, two, three. Yeah, so arms just go up and down, and they're flexed, right? So we're here, a oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a oh, one, two, three, and all that jazz. From here, same position as before, except our hands are gonna come up, the right is higher, the left is lower, so we've got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and an up and a down with a slight shake of the hands, yeah? A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and an up and a down and all that jazz. From here, step out and throw your arms out to the side, blade hands, bring them in, right arm goes to left shoulder, left arm goes to your hip. Yeah, so out, 
cross, right knee clicks in, left knee clicks in. Yeah, so we just did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up and a down and all that jazz. Open, hug, knee, knee, bring it back and hit, two, three, four, shimmy, two, three, four, and shift, shoulder, shift, shoulder, hips, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool, and that's the entire combo. So we'll go back to the interlude. We'll do the musical interlude and the second phrase, and then we'll put it all together with music, okay? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, four, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, and all that jazz. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shake up and down. And all that jazz. Go out and hug and knee, knee. And dip, two, three, four. Hit, six, seven, eight. Shimmy, two, three, four. Hit, shoulder, hit, shoulder. Jazz, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great, you guys, that was really good. So again, we're thinking about keeping the lid on things, really isolating the movement, whatever part of your body is moving, really focusing on that, but leaving everything else just totally relaxed, totally out of the way and deleted, yeah? So we're thinking about the bubbles on the inside, our core is engaged, everything is working, but it looks so calm. So cool, yeah. I think the smaller you can make these steps, the better. Um, and that's great for quarantine if you're stuck in a small space. I think the smaller and the more controlled, um, the more specificity and definition each of the moves will have. So let's try it with some music all together. I don't repaint the town I know that jazz I'm gonna rouge my knees And roll my stockings down I know that jazz Start the car I know we'll be spot Where the gin is cold But the piano's hot It's just a noisy hall Where there's a nightly brawl And all that jazz Shoes. I know that jazz, I hear that father dip is gonna blow the blues. I know that jazz, hold on, hon, we're gonna bunny hop. I bought some aspirin on that United drug in case you shake off pot. I want a brand new star to do that jazz. I don't repaint the town I know that jazz I'm gonna rouge my knees And roll my stockings down 
And all that jazz Start the car and all the whoopee spot Where the gin is cold but the piano's hot It's just a noisy hall where there's a nightly brawl And all that jazz Slick your hair and wear your buckle shoes I know that jazz, I hear that father dip is gonna blow the blues. I know that jazz, hold on, hon, we're gonna bunny hop. I bought some aspirin on that United drug in case you shake off pot. I want a brand new star to do that jazz. Ski-boo. That's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was fun. I hope you learned a little something about Chicago and Bob Fosse. If you don't know much about him, go on YouTube. There are plenty of videos of his work and what he does. He's incredible, um, and we can always learn and we can always grow no matter what's going on in the world around us. So thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Bye.